So the Isle of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield has released in the last few days and those of you who have played through it or have watched the trailers revealing it would know that you obtain a legendary Pokemon named Kupfu, a cute little fighting type legendary Pokemon capable of evolving that is vital to the story that takes place on this new island. In fact for a certain portion of it you're not allowed to use any Pokemon other than Kupfu. Now. I don't know if this was an oversight on the developer's behalf or whether it's just physically impossible to introduce a hard lock on it using the engine that they are currently building the games on, but it's actually possible to release this Pokemon as soon as you obtain it. Why would you do that? I have no idea. It's one of the Pokemon exclusive to the content that you're paying in, what, expense of $30 for? So if you fancy throwing away your money, that's cool. You do you, I guess. I mean, it's possible that a young child could accidentally release it. A lot of people could probably relate to having a younger sibling waste a Master Ball or release a Pokemon that they loved. So that is why I wanted to test what happens if you release your Kubfu in the Isle of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And also, I just wanted to see what would happen because I love running absolutely dumb, stupid experiments in video games. So. Without any further ado, let's get into it. It takes about 45 minutes to get your Kupfu and initiate the part of the story where Kupfu is integral to the story, so I'll spare putting you through that again. We receive our Kupfu from Mustard and as painful as it is because I've literally spent $30 to make this video and get a second Kupfu, we do what must be done for the sake of science and release our Kupfu. Okay, that was a little over dramatic. Our first and literal only objective from Mustard was to look after Kupfu and to build trust and its confidence by making it our best friend. He even explicitly states that Kupfu hasn't had the chance to explore the world outside the dojo because it's so shy, so releasing it out into the wild where evil Drapion and Bufalant and worst of all Chansey are lurking is Probably the most inhumane thing I've ever done in a video game, but it's neither here nor there, you're not judging right? Now, to my surprise, Game Freak have actually accounted for this. I genuinely thought that and had actually planned in advance for this to soft lock my game, basically making the rest of the Isle of Armour's story totally inaccessible. I thought that the game wouldn't know how to handle this, but as you're seeing on screen right now, Mustard actually gives you the option to continue the story without Kubfu after noticing it's not in your party or your PC boxes. He gives us the option to say we're not ready to continue the quest, which gives you the opportunity to trade over a Kubfu from another game, if you so choose, or to simply continue without it. He leads us into the soothing wetlands and tells us to take on one of the two towers, just like he would if we had Kubfu. We interact with the guard of one of the towers and he tells us that he's received word from Mustard that we are not in possession of Kubfu and that there's no turning back once we enter. You're then allowed to use literally any Pokemon you want within the tower, which is normally totally reserved for Kubfu. And after defeating Mustard in the fifth and final battle, he even tells us, and this was really funny to me, there's no need to even investigate the scroll behind him and he just gives us his lead card. Once we returned back to the dojo, I was actually really confused by this. Mustard's just sat there playing Pokemon Quest, as he typically is, and we're not required to battle Mustard one more time like you normally would, and the map's objectives simply tell us that we are free to explore the entirety of Galar at our own pace, essentially confirming we have finished all objectives here in the Isle of Armour. I'm so surprised about this. 
I'm surprised that this was actually considered while developing this DLC. So, the inspiration for this video came from a Reddit thread where someone's son had released their cup through as soon as they received it, and they had said that they were softlocked and needed to trade in one from a friend or acquire one in whatever way possible. However, having seen it with my own eyes, I can definitely confirm that this is not the case, and that if for uh, whatever reason you simply despise Kapfu's mere existence, you can release it out into the wild and never have to see its adorable little face ever again in your game, and you're free to complete the DLC, albeit probably not as the developers probably intended. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, see you guys in the next one.